Hey guys, I'm Tigger the Tiger. Today I'm going to show you how to represent multi-step problems with strip diagrams and equations. Remember that empty box that you would use in third grade when you didn't know the value of a number? This year, we're going to use a letter that's italicized instead of the box. We call that a variable. Okay, let's get started. Mrs. Linton ordered two cases of miniature skateboards for the school treasure chest. A case has a dozen packages and each package contains eight miniature skateboards. Write an equation to represent M, the total number of miniature skateboards that Mrs. Linton ordered. Think about the math action. What's happening? Visualize it. We have two cases of miniature skateboards. Each case has a dozen packages. Remember, a dozen is 12. Each package contains eight skateboards. Imagine opening all the packages and counting the skateboards. How could we get the total faster? Well, rather than saying eight plus eight plus eight plus eight, I could simply say I have 12 packages and multiply by the eight that are in each package. That would give me the total number of skateboards in one case, then I would multiply that by two to get the total number that Mrs. Linton ordered. We don't actually have to do the work for this problem, we just have to write the equation. So I'll say M equals 12 times 8 times 2. Remember, when you multiply, you can write these numbers in any order and you'll get the same answer. Let's try another problem. Jake, Mike, and Rick started a yard business. They equally share the money that is earned. Last month, the boys earned $48, $125, $72, and $65 on four different jobs. Draw a strip diagram to represent Y, the amount of money that each boy earned last month from their yard business. Since there's three boys, if I knew the total amount of money, I could just take that number and divide by three to get the amount that each boy would get. So how do I get the total of all of this money? Simply add. Here's what the strip diagram would look like. I have $48 and then I have $125, so I'm making it bigger. And then I have $72 and $65. Okay, so imagine that this red box represents the total. I would take that total and divide by three to get each boy's part. This is an example of a strip diagram for a multi-step problem. All right, let's try another one. Madeline is going with friends to a water park. She needs to pay for a deluxe food ticket and for the park entrance ticket. The deluxe food ticket costs $38. The park entrance ticket costs $15 more than the deluxe food ticket. Madeline has $50. How much more money does she need? Write an equation to represent N, the amount of money that Madeline still needs to go to the water park. If I knew the total amount of money that Madeline needed, I could subtract $50 since she has that already, and that would tell me how much money she still needs. So how do I get this total? Well, it would be the price of the food ticket plus the park entrance ticket. I know the price of the food ticket is $38. The park entrance ticket is $15 more than the food ticket. So it's not just 15, it's the food plus 15. So here I have the price of the food ticket and here I have the price of the park entrance ticket. That's the total that she needs. So if I subtract $50, then I'll have what she still needs. Let's look at one more problem. Mrs. Hamlin's class had a goal of 100 cans for the three-week food drive. The students brought 28 cans the first week. If the students plan to bring an equal number of cans the second week and third week, how can Mrs. Hamlin determine the number of cans needed each week? Draw a strip diagram to represent C, the number of cans that the students need to bring the second week and the third week. Okay, let's think about this problem. The students bring 28 cans the first week. Their goal is 100, so they need to bring some more to make it 100. And let's mark the 100 down. Now they have two additional weeks to bring these cans, and they want to bring an equal number each week. So we're going to divide that exactly in two, and we call this C. So the first week plus the second week plus the third week will equal 100, and the second and the third weeks are the same value. It's your turn to answer some questions. 